And look, that sorry news over the weekend that Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny has died in prison aged just 47. Is anyone surprised, given that Vladimir Putin's opponents all seem to die prematurely from standing too close to windows, and being out in a balcony, being in planes that get blown up, or getting stabbed with umbrellas, or in this case, suffering something called sudden death syndrome? Now, reportedly, agents of Russia's secret police arrived at Navalny's prison some hours before he died, and they turned off the CCTV. Again, who'd have thought they'd do that? One way or another, Navalny is now one of the Russian dictator's many victims. The oligarchs who wouldn't toe the line, the independent journalists, and the thousand of Ukrainian civilians who have been butchered in Putin's war. Let's hope Putin's apologists in the West finally get the message. This guy's just evil and he must be stopped. With a tyrant, as military man Andrew Hastie reminded us over the weekend, weakness is provocative. And we can't afford to be weak any longer with Russia, China or Iran.